Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm back already with another message given to uh, until that glorious day. And I just looked them up on YouTube to see if that was the name of the channel, but it's not up there. So, uh, let's see that. Okay. So anyway, I'm just going to read this to you, and you can go read, um, I'll leave you the link, and you can go read it again and share it on your channel if you have one, okay? It's a warning, comma, word is what it says, a warning and a word. I will turn your mourning into dancing until that glorious day. It says, posted by 444 Prophecy News on 2021-02-18. And in the, uh, there's a black box, like, for their picture, it says, Time for separation. I will reward my faithful. Again, I will turn your mourning into dancing. It's dated February 18th. I didn't tell you. Today is Friday, uh, February 19th. It's 5.05 p.m. I had to redo this. I think I, I said some things that might have got it pulled. So I'm just going to read it straight out and not add anything. Received February 18th, 2021. You who have endured with tears and patience will rise up into the into glory you who have enjoyed the world and thought you had me too you will sink into the mire you who have been hidden away in the cleft of the rock you will have overwhelming joy for every moment of sorrow laughter will overtake your tears you forsook all for me and I will give you the feast of plenty what a feast you cannot imagine beyond your dreams what you sowed in tears will be greatly multiplied to you in joy you who played games with me and altered my words, so you thought, changed my book, so you thought, you will see the reward of the unrighteous. You have taken my name in vain. Now you will receive your reward, the reward for the wicked servant you will have less than you can imagine. Your stomach will be empty, your hope gone, your pleasures gone. Picking at your sores in the dust and mud because you chose the easy path, the wide path. The gates of hell have enlarged for you. See, if there's no hell... Why would there be gates of hell enlarging? There's a hell, unfortunately. You did not treasure me or my ways. The gates of heaven are open for my saints. They will be closed against those that forsake my ways. How do you know his ways? You read this thing called a Bible right here. You read it. If you never have or haven't done much, get in the Gospels and find out what Jesus said. Go from there to Acts and on. Paul will expound on what Jesus taught, and that's how you know what Jesus said. Okay? Live by his laws and commandments. 
He actually gave only two, but everything else falls on those two, he said. On these fall all the laws and the prophets, which I really don't understand that part, but it's okay. We don't have to understand every word. Okay, let me go back here. Okay, the gates of heaven are open for my saints. They will be closed against those that forsake my ways. The righteous will enter in with singing and dancing. Oh, I can't wait. The unrighteous will now mourn and wail and gnash their teeth. That's going to be so sad. Time for separation. I will reward my faithful. Psalm 30, verse 11. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. O oh Lord my God, I will give thanks forever. That's Psalm 30, 11. And I've got, I looked that up, Psalm 30, 11. And Psalm 30 is not very long. And I thought I would go ahead and read Psalm 30 for those of you who would like to hear it. And if not, if you're one that would rather read the word so you can suck, suck it up better or soak it in, then you can cut it off right here. God bless you. We'll talk to you later. For the rest of you that would like to hear it, here you go. A psalm and song at the dedication of the house of David. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. That could mean also someone just dies, uh, they get buried, and might not yet understand heaven and hell. Or maybe because he had done something wrong, he was thankful that God forgave him. But it doesn't, it just says, I brought my soul up from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. And a reference to that is Psalm 28.1, if you want to write that down and look it up. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his. And give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. And the reference to that is 1 Chronicle 16.4. For his anger endured but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Psalm 63 Verse 3 is the reference to that. And in <clears throat> my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Job 29, verse 18 is a reference to that. Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. Psalm 104, verse 29 is a reference to that. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Do, shall the dust 
praise thee, shall it declare thy truth? And the reference is Psalm 6, verse 5. Man, I'm thirsty. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. This is verse 11. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Jeremiah 31 verse 4. I think Jeremiah 31 is what I just read. I thought it was. Uh, verse 12. To the end <clears throat> that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. <clears throat> o Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Isn't that beautiful? My friend gave this back to me. I had given it to her. It's a very large print, King James. It's so heavy and hard to use, but I love the large print. I've always loved actually reading the Bible from a book more than, well, I'm having trouble getting it back into place. There we go. So, anyway, I think that's the end. After the scripture, yes. Okay, so I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every single one of us and all of our devices and our internet connections. And I pray that anybody who still has a power outage, like down in Texas, that it gets their... their um, their power and their internet connections get restored immediately in Jesus name I pray that means soon not in two weeks okay y'all keep praying for them I don't know where all the states are I know Texas is having huge problems so let's just keep them all in our prayers okay God bless you all I'll talk to you later